Hello everyone and welcome to your Advective Weather Severe Weather Update for August 7th, 2023. We have a quite serious situation to get to today, but before we get to that, please note we do have a Severe Weather Preparation video link in the description where you can find out what to do about what I'm going to be talking about today. But today I'm going to be talking about who's at risk and what those impacts could look like. If you want to know how you can respond to all of that information, that's what the video's for. You can look at that down in the description below. Let's take a look now at the current weather setup. You'll notice some severe storms there stretching all the way from Oklahoma all the way over to Mississippi and Tennessee. Now, most of these aren't severe, but you'll notice those yellow boxes. Those are where severe storms currently reside. Our main severe weather risk area, however, is to the east of that, and that's going to be our primary concern today. Let's jump into that now. We have a moderate risk today in the mid-Atlantic. We haven't seen an event that looks like this since 2013, so this is quite rare. This isn't something that happens overly often. It's been about a decade, so let's talk about what we, we can expect today. Strong storms will begin to fire around 11 a.m. in the west central portion of the slight to moderate risk regions. These are going to be in that central portion, so basically if you are on the eastern side of Kentucky in particular, that's going to be where those storms begin, and then it's going to slowly expand into one large line, stretching all the way from New York all the way down to Georgia by the time we get to around 3 p.m. This will become particularly intense with numerous hazards possible, and these storms will continue to be intense through around 11 p.m. when the threat will rapidly diminish. Let's talk about those hazards now. Damaging winds of 80 miles per hour or perhaps greater are possible today, especially within the moderate risk. Large hail in excess of one inch in diameter is certainly possible, and a few tornadoes are possible as well. Let's jump in now to the forecast at large. You'll notice that moderate risk region we just talked about, coupled with the slight and enhanced regions around it there in the eastern United States. You'll notice, though, in the central to western plains, we also have some severe weather that's expected today. A slight risk in place over there. However, that risk is not expected to be anywhere near as serious as the one in the mid-Atlantic today. Let's break this down into a bit more detail. Here's our wind risk, slight risk over in the western plains, and a moderate risk there in the uh, mid-Atlantic U.S. You'll notice that hatched region, that's where our moderate risk is. So that means that we have a 45% uh, chance uh, or greater this point 45 to 60 percent chance of damaging winds within 25 miles of a given point that's the purple the hatched region means that we have a possibility of 80 mile per hour or greater winds um, in some sense greater than hurricane force essentially so the purple region there and the red region those are both enhanced risk it's just the chance that you're going to get damaging winds however that upgrade isn't necessary until you have that hatched region there that significant region so i wouldn't be shocked to see this moderate risk get considerably larger throughout the day today. However, you can see they're kind of the ceiling of the area, but if you're within this purple region, even if you're not technically in a moderate risk, I'd still, especially there, be keeping my eye out for damaging winds. And even if I'm in the red region there, the enhanced risk, again, keep an eye out for damaging winds today. If you're in the slight risk, the marginal risk, you know, don't let your guard down. Keep an eye on the sky. However, it should not be as serious for you as it is for our friends in the enhanced and moderate risk regions. Let's now talk about the tornado threat. This is the secondary threat with this. A large 10% region um, has been delineated all the way from Kentucky through Washington, D.C. DC heading into southern Pennsylvania. Now there is no hatched region, so the SPC is not keen on there being stronger tornadoes today. However, the expectation is that there will be a fair few tornadoes, even if brief and short-lived, that do move through that yellow region. That's an enhanced risk for tornadoes. We have a slight risk of tornadoes in the brown there. That's in the Western Plains and the Mid-Atlantic. And then we also have a marginal risk surrounding that as well. So just make sure that you're being weather aware today for both damaging winds and tornadoes in the eastern U.S. And our lowest threat, but still on zero slight risk of large hail both in the western plains uh, and the mid-atlantic so if you're in the mid-atlantic large hail greater than one inch in diameter is expected um, across where a lot of these storms are going to develop um, if you are within that hatched region there in the plains that is where we can expect hail greater than two inches in diameter to be a real possibility so hail is actually going to be the biggest threat in the plains today um, even though it still remains a slight risk that hatched region showing it could get rather serious regardless for a few areas so there won't be widespread coverage of storms in the plains however there will be some that get particularly potent especially when it comes to hail but when it comes to the threats for the uh, mid-atlantic heading up into the northeast this is the order of them damaging winds are the primary threat tornadoes are the secondary threat and while non-zero hail is the threat that goes in the third slot there 
Let's take a look at a weather model now. This is a uh, this is a weather model that we use a lot. This is the high resolution rapid refresh model, and you can see how this evolves with time. So you just saw it for the first time there. Let's take a look at it again. You'll notice here are storms that fire off uh, there late in the morning and then in the afternoon that large line all the way from New York all the way down to Georgia. That's that potent line that really peaks around 3 p.m. before fizzling out around 11 p.m. when that does move offshore, weakens out, dies out, and that is no longer a huge concern by then. But the biggest concern is going to be in the early to mid-afternoon hours today, so make sure that you are remaining weather aware throughout the day if in the mid-Atlantic. Again, you can check out our video link in the description for ways to prepare for the upcoming severe weather event. All right, let's take a look now at tomorrow and Wednesday. Slight risks in place there. Tomorrow for the Western Plains and Dixie Alley, and then on Wednesday we have it for the Midwest heading into the Mississippi Valley. So you can see those both rather clearly there, but severe weather continuing. All hazards are on the table for both days. Tomorrow, damaging winds and large hail, the primary threat. However, a tornado threat is non-zero, especially there in the plains and in the northeast in that marginal risk that you can see. However, tornado is not a huge threat tomorrow down in Dixie Alley. Ensure that you have a way to remain weather aware throughout this active period. That can be the news, that can be us, that can be weather alerts. Any way that you can make sure that you're keeping an eye on the sky would be good, especially because anywhere basically from the plains all the way to the mid-Atlantic and northeast is going to be getting severe weather here for the next little while. Well, with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was useful. If you liked it, you can hit the like button down below. If you didn't, you know where that button is. You can subscribe to the channel to make sure that we make more content like this, and you can join our Discord community in order to have some fun over there as well. Thanks again for watching. We hope to see you in the next one.